big and juicy. Yeah, <laughs> chunky, big, <laughs> juicy. <laughs>
So the filling has really grainy cheese. I think it's Parmesan cheese. Mm. So if you're a cheese lover, a cream lover, are you? Yes, I love. Me too. That's why we love this. Oh my goodness, look at yes. that. Oh, oh. So this is a really trendy dish as of date. It's souffle pancakes. Yeah. Have you had souffle pancakes before? I have and I love them. I know, right? And this one, they really had the thickness on point. Yeah. Sometimes souffle pancake, they just have it like this thick and say, oh, this is souffle pancake. But look at this. This calls for a very happy cheers. Cheers. Mm. So the best thing about souffle pancakes is that it covers all pancake lovers because you have that chewy layer, mm -hmm. you have that really soft milk in the mouth layer, and there's also ice cream for those who love ice cream with their pancakes. I don't think I will choose the tiramisu flavour again because the coffee ice cream overpowered everything. I personally like it eh, because mm. right, like there's already warm from the souffle pancake, mm. and then and then also there's different textures with the cream as well, and then you combine it with the ice cream, which have a stronger taste as compared to the pancake lah. Then you should just eat ice cream what? No, but then without the pancake, there's no warm. It's brownie. <laughs> Okay, let's not forget about the drinks. Wow, they are very unique. Every single thing is not your typical cafe drink. So no. they have the mermaid tears, the cold brew, and you can bring this water home, and flower tea. Look, do I look like a lady? Oh, oh. <laughs> so what do you think about the cafe overall? Mm. Well, I really love it. I would say this is one of my most favourite cafe in Singapore. Wow! Because the ambiance is on point, the food is on point, and I would say the concept mm. is very different as well. Mm. It's also cat friendly. Okay, so now we're done with the food. Let's go and take Instagram photos. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, let's go, model. <laughs> it's not going in. Okay, we're now here at our third cafe for the day and it's called Mercy Marcel. If you've heard of this cafe before, it's because it's been around for a while but they actually have three outlets and we're at their newest one. So for starters, we got the beetroot carpaccio with wild trout grab legs. Yeah. You no. eat the beetroot, I eat the trout. No! <laughs> so what's really cute about the trout is that they made it into a very cute rosette yeah. formation and the well in the middle, they filled it up with sauce. Bon appétit! Oh wow! Mm. The texture from both components mm. really goes well together. Mm -hmm. Like the smoothness from the trout and the crunchiness from the beetroot just wow. It doesn't really have the earthiness from the usual beetroot because mm. they pickled it already. Yeah, so it's not very strong like for you beetroot haters out there. Mm. Like you can still eat this. Trust me, it's not that scary. <laughs> so moving on to Ravioli Palais. Ooh, French. So it's like little pockets of cheese and spinach inside. And they also have foie gras yeah. toppings. Mmm, mmm. It's like cream on cream. Because the foie gras was that creamy, it melted in my mouth. What I really like about this dish is the foie gras. Mm hmm And it's not too strong, you know what I mean? Like, it blends nicely together. So it's like a good orchestra. It's like pieced well together. And the filling inside this ravioli is very smooth and thick, nicely blended as compared yeah. to many other ravioles I've tried outside which is a bit grainy. So this is really good. Okay, the next main that we have is called a tart flambe. So it's kind of like a thin pizza with the usual cheese and then toppings on top. Oh my gosh, this is grapes? Yeah. They're oh my gosh, it's so nice. Have you ever tasted grapes on top of pizza? No. <laughs> it's so good eh. Like I ever said it was caramelised onions, but it's actually the grapes. Mm. Yeah, the sweetness comes from the grapes. Yeah, so it's a very clever addition yeah. for this pizza. Especially because the cheese, right, is very buttery, mm. not overly salty or so. Okay, last but not least, mm -hmm. we have the Crip Marcel. Ooh, if they put the cafe name into the dish, it must be a musket. Yeah, wow. Why wow, so mm. good? Mm. I love tiramisu because I love coffee. <laughs> so I love this dish. Oh my god, it's not too sweet. Mm. And like the bitterness is also not too bitter. I can imitate you. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> and the mouthfeel is really appetizing. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's chewy and mm. then it's gooey from the tiramisu sauce on top. Yeah. And then it's milky from the <gasps> whipped cream. Whipped cream. <laughs> <laughs> So they also have an extensive drink menu. Mine is watermelon and mint. This is so refreshing. So if you want to go shopping and the weather is very hot, just grab this drink before you start your shopping. 
Okay, I'm having the latte, which comes with this chocolate as well. Oh. Which is like actually designed by a French artist. If you're a simple person like me, I'm complicated. Or <laughs> uh, you can opt for the coffee. Their lattes are actually really good. So Mercy Marcel is a French cafe chain, right? Mm. But they actually inject some local twist to it. They use produce that you can find in Singapore, like the organic eggs. And one more thing, this cafe is also a hybrid. It's like a concept store mm. with like very cute little things like cups. Mm. No marks, like bags yes. and stuff. Yeah, it's really like her alley, right up her alley. Uh huh. With that <laughs> said, let's take Instagram photo. Oh, <laughs> I forgot about that. Which is your favorite cafe? Merci I say first, Ivy. No, I say first. Okay, for me, it's because I, I go to town a lot. So I think that's one place that I will frequent now, especially with my mom, because she likes French food. And also, I love the ambience. It doesn't give me Singapore feels. Like, I feel like I'm overseas. Uh, Mercy Masa is definitely different in a very French way. The vibes is French, the food is French, the people there, they speak French also. But I would like to give Cafe de Nicole's flower thumbs up also because it's really cool from the concept wise, really different. And the entire cafe, the food, the ambiance, the decoration, it all shouts Nicole yeah. as a florist. So we've been talking about hybrid the whole day, right? Let's not forget about Mod Cafe, which has a freaking salon right beside it. And the ambience is very minimalist. Mm. So if you're that kind of person, you like minimalist things, then that's a good cafe to go to. Mm. Take photos. You need to tell the audience what are some tips to pose and what are some tips for cameramen to ca capture really nice portraits. If let's say you're very shy in front of camera, you can like laugh a lot so that the, the cameraman will capture candid moments and that like, will look more natural than as compared to if you are like posing in front of camera. <laughs> Watching this episode of Eat Book Vlogs. If you love this kind of food guides, you can check more over there. And remember to like, share, and subscribe. Bye! Bye.